hello everybody, it's boy Prof Chef and we're back again with another video. This is hilariously inaccurate medieval arts of animals. Shit, it's gonna be like in 20 years, it's gonna be us with aliens. Let's go, baby, let's go. Let's see what they thought of. What is that, a sea lion? Oh, that's not bad. That's, oh, yo, 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 wait a second. Hey, bro, you can't get this past me. Look at the nuts on this dude. He is left nut dominant. That is interesting. What's that, the Phoenix? The of animals often looked a little different. Bro, that looks like a depressed owl. Join the gang, baby. From the real world species. Jeez. And this mismatch was compounded with any animal the artist had that? clearly never seen before. That's an European oyster. texts from this period are full that... of hilarious attempts to depict far off species. Elephant? So let's take a so, look at. Hey, yo, what is that? that? That's a trunk on it. Says, well, I assume it's an elephant, but it's like a horse with a trunk. Some of the most inaccurate. Bearing in Without mind, it would be difficult to know what, say, an elephant would look like if you'd never seen one before. Sure. And speaking of elephants, they're a good place to start Bro. when it comes to inaccurate depictions. Medieval artists hey. seem to of elephants, they're a good place to He's wearing the good Adidas though. Hey, nice shoes, bro. Start when it comes to inaccurate what depictions. About the trees? Medieval artists seem to struggle with the concept of the trunk, especially, often rendering it in bizarre ways. Many illustrations also depict elephants supporting power? entire stone castles on their backs. Spring from myths, elephants were mighty enough to what carry around entire that? buildings. This is, of course, Bruh. incorrect. Bruh. Hey, England, Another? England, hey, somebody smoked the tea. He didn't drink the tea. The large African Jesus. animal medieval artist struggled to portray <laughs> accurately as the hippopotamus, possibly to an even greater what? extent than the elephant. Well, Most illustrations of hippos from the era are way off, with an assortment of aquatic traits like tails and dorsal fins oh. actual. That is an actual hippo. They are evil. That, that is true. Hippos don't possess. Other depictions almost make hippos look That's like strange horses, perhaps due to misunderstanding. Other depictions. Well, it looks like it's like a hawk hybrid. Hawk pig hybrid. Almost make hippos look That's like weird. strange horses, perhaps due to misunderstanding surrounding yeah, the animal's donkey. name, which means river horse in Latin. River horse. Up next, we I have the giraffe, that. an animal medieval artist portrayed with less frequency than the hippo or elephant. Compared to the hippo, at the what? very least, hey, some that... pieces of. That's not bad. It looks like uh, Bambi. Yeah, it looks like Bambi with a long neck. Before it actually get Don't the giraffe's general appearance mostly right, emphasizing yeah. the long neck. Well, most of the time. Damn. Moving on to Big African predators, we have the hyena, an animal with rather ink. Really? A hyena with two feet? Yeah, that's what we're going with? Okay, bro. Okay, Consistent okay. interpretations across <laughs> different paintings. In some illustrations, the hyena features horns and almost resembles a carnivorous cow. Well, what is happening in that picture, though? I, hey, bro. Be, I'm pretty sure bestiality was illegal even back then. Others are more dog -like. God, One curious trend is that in many images, hyenas appear to be consuming Ugh. the dead. This is because of That's a common true, myth that the oh. animals dug up cemeteries to eat human remains, a concept which is inaccurate. Moving to a different part of the world, it is? another large predator which gets the short end of the stick in medieval art. Bro, this dude straight up drew dicks on the tree. What you doing, boy? What you doing? Art is the tiger. Far That's from the massive tiger? predatory felines of the real world, medieval tigers were small, dog-like creatures lacking the animal's trademark stripes. Bruh. Strangely enough, in many illustrations, the tiger is drawn looking in a mirror. This stems what? from a legend that a hunter could steal a tiger's cubs if they distracted the mother with her reflection. As I am curious on how that went in real life. The mother would mistake hey, look it at for this her mirror, cub. Bro. A pretty grim legend, and one that would more than likely result in immediate death if tried on a real tiger. Moving Let's on to go, the world of birds, the ostrich is a species medieval artists seem to uh, find particularly that's challenging. Not too bad. Most images of ostriches that's, lack almost all of the animal's a, defining features, including their long neck and flightless nature. Indeed, many depictions <laughs> of the ostrich just look like standard birds. <laughs> Another unusual trend is the ostrich of medieval art is often shown abandoning its. Why does it look depressed? Look at look at its face, bro. It looks like how I feel currently. Egg to roast in the Damn. sun. Although real ostriches do leave their eggs exposed in My ground nests, fish in the sky. this isn't because they're neglectful parents. Their eggs do just fine out in the open. Furthermore, another odd trend is illustrating the birds eating an iron horseshoe. This comes from a myth that ostriches could digest anything, even metal. 
Once again, this is distinctly f I mean, they did eat a lot of bullets in Australia, so... Emus, Australia, same shit, right? Another unique looking bird missing many of its most notable features is the pelican, which in pelican? medieval art is a short beaked organism lacking its trademark Why is it throat biting pouch. The other one? A highly unusual theme as most depictions show pelican families yeah. eating each other. The bizarre cannibalism comes from a legend that pelican babies try to eat their parents when fully grown, prompting the parents to eat them in return. What? This is an obviously inaccurate notion as any real species would die in just a few generations Number using such a behavioral real? model. Diving into the ocean, the next animal we're touching sea on lion? is the whale, an aquatic oh. leviathan. That's a whale! I thought it was a sea lion, I was like, yo, it ain't that bad, like the face looks similar, I don't know why it got scales, but hey, it don't look too bad. That's a goddamn whale. Okay. Then, ...which rarely looks anything like the real species in medieval wow. art. In most depictions, the animal looks less like what we know of as a whale and more like a giant fish, to the point where... Hey, yo, thank God we don't have that. ...where some versions so are even covered out. in fish-like scales. Some whales in medieval illustrations go a step further away from the real animal and seem to have legs. Bro, seems like in medieval they didn't even know how people look like. What the fuck are those mouth much more... That's how you pronounce it, right? Looking motherfuckers on the boats. Thanks. While we're dealing Jesus. with the ocean, the dolphin is another interestingly, eh, albeit incorrectly, portrayed marine mammal what? when it comes. Why is it got ball sacks on the chin, though? We're gonna ignore that. Comes to marine art. That's a like ball sack. The, whale, the dolphin usually just resembles a giant, slightly goofy-looking fish. One aquatic organism which deviates even further from its real life counterpart, however, is the sea turtle, which for some reason is. I mean. Okay, now that you tell me what it is, I can... Nah. Often portrayed as bipedal nah. with a massive nah. tail. Sea turtles in medieval Bruh. paintings all... Bro, why are you smirking at me? Why? <laughs> also usually feature curiously shaped shells and segmented toes. One depiction of a hey. sea turtle even That's seems to look more like a hedgehog. That's a with the artist hedgehog. likely hearing the animal was armored and incorrectly assuming the two species were equivalent. Going further inland, one okay. semi-aquatic predator what medieval artists took a serious griffin. liberties with is the crocodile. With many images of the- That's a cry. It has got goddamn wings. It has wings. Now it makes me want to imagine a crocodile with wings. That would be scary. Florida, run. The animal looking borderline the unrecognizable. Way. To be fair, some illustrations at least That's look a, more or less okay. like a reptile, That's while a, others yeah. really deviate from crocodilian Rats? features, displaying hair, paws, bushy tails, and short dog-like snouts. Even then that? again, some of the drawings of crocodiles which don't... It is upside down. That looks like a monster hunter. Boss. Don't include fur, don't look all that better. Nearing the end of our list and truly veering into bizarre territory, we have the scorpion, another animal given fur and mammalian features without any clear explanation. There's something about giving a scorpion a non-arachnid face which makes it look so fundamentally absurd. At least some depictions give it more legs than a standard quadruped. Well, some depictions. At the very end of our journey, we have an animal that? you'd never be able to identify just by looking. Okay, a zebra? It's probably something completely different, right? It's probably like a pig or something, but they've seen pigs. At medieval portrayals, what is that? the chameleon. Although in real life the animal is a lizard, medieval art is sometimes Where? portrayed it as a horse-like organ. Oh, I see. It is so, you know chameleons can change their color. It is in the background. It is so good that you cannot tell it is there. Hey, I see you, medieval people. I see you. And sometimes Smart. more like a cat. It's in, in the either case, bro. one thing is for sure, it looks nothing like the animal it's based on. Smart the as hell. might come from phonetic similarities between chameleon and leon or lion. But truthfully, the reason why chameleons are so inaccurate in art from the period is anyone's guess. And that's where our list comes to an end. I All hope right. you enjoyed this video. Right. If you did, I have an I did, bro. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what'd y'all think? Which one did you find the weirdest? I mean, uh, whales were pretty good, right? No, no, they weren't. Nothing was good. Oh, shit. Anyway, this was fun. Hey, I thought it was gonna be fun, and it was fun as hell. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, quick thank you to YouTube members and patrons. Thank y'all for the support, and have a nice day, everybody. Bye bye.